what's going on guys Raymond here I'm back with another video so in this video we are going to look at all the JavaScript that we need to run uh, to learn react so let's get started I've opened up this application here so I'll just put this side by side so that you guys can see okay so without further ado let's get started so I'll just be toggling between uh, our list here the things that we are going to go through so we'll start with variables uh, so uh, let's uh, start with those okay so uh, let me just define variable you can either use late or const so how does this work so let's see so we have const book is equal to let's just call this as uh, react okay then uh, let's just log this to the console so console.log that book then we are going to see we have react there in the console okay now um what if we change this so we say book is equal to uh, C sharp now when we save we are going to have an error which says assignment to constant variable type error so we cannot change the constant variable of an assignment over the data that we have assigned okay so this is how const works so I'll just comment that and let's move on to uh, late so with late you can say late book is equal to again I'll just call it react then let's log that to the console so I'll just say book okay then when you reload I'm going to see I've got uh, that but with uh, late we can change the value so we can just say is equal to c sharp so when we save we are going to see c sharp okay so this tells us that with late we can change the name of the variable but with const we cannot change okay so let's look at uh, objects and arrays okay so um again i'll just um, com i just comment this and hide it like that okay so um let me just remove this okay so now we are going to look at uh, objects so i'll just define an object here so i'll just call it a book again Oops. so I'll just give it a name uh, maybe a name of react and I'm also going to give it uh, just a year which is a year of publication let's say this is 2022 okay so now let's uh, log that to the console so I'll just say log console.log that book okay so when we save we are going to see that we have got uh, that book so um, let's try to if, if we try to change this we are going to have an error so let's say book is equal to uh, maybe we change to say name in other things there let's 
C sharp, then yay, say twenty twenty three. When we save, we are going to have an error type assignment because this is a constant, so it says a variable or an object still going to give us an error. But if we say book dot name is equal to let's say C sharp and save oops should be now um, let me just refresh now you can see that the book here has changed to C sharp okay so you can change the properties but you can you cannot change the object itself okay so let me just uh, comment this again so let's look at uh, now the spread operator how it works so for that i'll just uh, define another book so this one just be an uppercase book so I'll just say equal to now the way the spread operator works is you can copy all these properties uh, in the other object or an array so to copy that I'm just going to put three dots then call that book then here I can add maybe let me say author and when I save and let me just uh, log this to the console which is uh, the uppercase P and when we save should author is not defined okay we haven't defined this for sure so it's Raymond okay and when we save we are going to see that uh, even the author has been added together with what we have copied so that's how uh, the spread operator works okay so let me go back let's go to ternary operators so with uh, let me just again comment this for your reference you can use that okay so for ternary operator we are just talking about conditions so in react it's just an alternative to the if else statement and it's very important to just understand that the if else statement or ternary operations they they are just conditions that we can do something based whether on that thing is true or false okay so for instance let me just define variable here uh, let me just say const she drives is equal to uh, then here we are just going to say uh, the, the initial condition is going to be false which is a boolean okay now the way we write conditions in uh, jsx you have to open this okay the parenthesis first then uh, you are going to use a ternary operator which goes like this uh, you can just start with uh, this uh, variable here you can just say she drives then you put a question mark so if that condition is true you can do something here so the first part means the condition is true so let's give her a car now else just put columns like that then you can return the false condition here Oops. should be inside so the false condition here so you can just say no car and when we save 
we're going to see no curve because this is false. Okay. Just uh, we are going to see no curve because this is false. But if we change this to true, then we are going to see that give her a curve. Okay. So that's how conditions work. You can change the background of something, you can do all sorts of stuff, or you can use the if statement, it all work the same. But in most cases, we're going to use this. We'll also look at other syntax as we go along, but just remember that when we're using conditions, the main aim is not the syntax, but what we want to do with those conditions, okay? So let's look at functions. So with functions, I'll just put the syntax so that you guys can be able to see. And let me just uh, comment this as well. Okay. So uh, then the way we define a function, just a normal function. So there are two types which I talked about uh, earlier in other videos. So you can define a function, then you say function up like that. Then you open curly parentheses. Then there, that's where you're going to write your code. Whatever code you want to write. Now with arrow functions, you say const up just the same function then you say is equal to just like that then inside there you put your code so those are the alternatives to these functions syntax okay so i'll just uncomment that in case you guys want to uh, go back to it and see okay so that's about our functions so we can talk about uh, modules so for the modules we have mainly two types which i also talked about last time we have the export as well as the import so what that means is we can import these functions as well as export them so just bear in mind that as we are coding in react we'll do that a lot okay so i've talked about conditions let's talk about template retros okay so with uh, template retros uh, let me just give an example of for instance you can say const name is equal to uh, raymond then uh, we can log that name now the other way we 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 used uh, to use these uh, quotes so we can say his name his name is then we put a plus here then you write that name and you save so you can see his name is raymond but with uh, template retros you just put in template retros like that then you can say his name is then a dollar sign and kelly presses then you just call that name which is very clean and as you can see we have his name is raymond okay so just bear in mind that we'll be using that then let's talk about uh, destructuring so with destructuring we can have let me as well comment this okay so with uh, destructuring we can have let's say um, const i'll just call these vehicles it's just equal to an array an array of vehicles so the first one 
I just call this as Corolla. Then the other one, I'll just call this as a counter. Then to access those vehicles, uh, the order way we used to say const, maybe you can call this as a car, then is equal to vehicles, then the position of that, which is uh, in this case we have uh, 0, 1, so that will be 0. And when we log that to the console, we are going to see we log the car. Now we are going to see that the car is a Corolla. Okay. So even you can copy this and oops and paste it here. Then we can call this as a truck. Then within that, here we can put the position which is one, and should come out as a counter, right? Oh, we haven't logged that to the console, so let's log that track. So we are going to see we have a counter, okay. Let me just comment this. Now you see we have a counter. But uh, with destructuring, we can just say const. Then open those uh, places. Then you just put a car and a truck. Then here we are just going to say is equal to vehicles. Okay, now um, to log that, you can just say log, console.log, then there you can just say that particular car, let me just uncomment this. they are interfering with uh, okay so vehicle is not defined okay here we are not supposed to comment this okay so we have const vehicles is equal to those so we can just destructure this like that then we can access them and as you can see we have got our let me just refresh and we save now I've got Corolla, okay, and can uh, even just access the track like that. And now you see we have got Canter, okay, and this is much cleaner than going this uh, the the odd way, okay. So the last one is array method which is uh, the map method so with the map method it's mainly used for rendering lists let me just comment this okay i'll leave this so like the way we have here we can just look through using the map method i've included it because it's uh, mainly used uh, it's mostly used so you can just call those vehicles then you say dot map then here you can i don't know you can call this anything you can call it an item then here you can just return maybe h1 So H1, and 
can just return that particular item. Okay, let's make this to be H4. And when you save, now you are going to see we have Corolla and Canter. Okay, but we'll do this a lot. Just wanted to let you guys know um, about the ES6 JavaScript that we need for us to code along with React because I thought uh, if we just start without going through this, it may be a little bit difficult to understand. Okay. So you see we have a warning. Each child in a list should have a unique key prop. We'll look at that in the next videos and how we can show that. So the last one is JSX rules. So I won't talk much about this, uh, but to include JavaScript, we must, must put them in curly braces. So like if you want to perform any JavaScript with operations, as you can see, you have to put in the curly brackets like that. And these conditions also should be in curly brackets and class should be class name. For instance, if you do this, we are going to have a warning here. It's a invalid DOM property class, the DOM in class name, because here class is uh, uh, a reserved keyword in JavaScript. Okay, so should be class name. Okay, so in the next lessons, we are going to continue with our React series, guys. And thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. See you soon.